heavy or rough trigger pull isn't conducive to good accuracy, but we can lighten and smooth the trigger with the use of stones and a fixture. Let's take a look. Before doing any work on the trigger, I like to insert some snap caps and check the trigger pulls. When working on the double action pull, we're not looking to lighten it as much as smooth it out. The single action pull is generally pretty smooth, but we can lighten it to suit our preference. A Lyman trigger pull gauge is handy for measuring the trigger pull weights. This gun averages about three pounds, 11 ounces for the single action pull and eight and a half pounds for the double action. I'll remove the side plate to give us a better look at the surfaces we need to smooth. For a detailed explanation of this process, refer to the chapter on disassembly and lubrication. Here's the location of the single action engagement surface, while the double action surfaces are located here. For safety reasons, we never touch the sear surface on the hammer. To lighten the pull, we'll polish the trigger sear. This is the Power Custom stoning fixture. Through the use of interchangeable adapters, we can use this fixture to maintain the proper angle on the hammer and trigger sear surfaces to slick up a variety of firearms. Notice the narrow surface I have to work with. This fixture will precisely index a polishing stone so that we can move it back and forth, polishing the surface. The fixture is adjustable, allowing us to move the roller guide to change the weight of our trigger pull. I'll start with a medium India stone and finish with a fine. A bit of dicum makes it easy to monitor my progress. Whenever using a polishing stone, it's important to use plenty of honing oil. Now I carefully move the stone back and forth, frequently checking my work. Once all the dicum is removed, we should have a nice, smooth surface. After adding more dicum, I switch to the fine stone. Remember, I'm just trying to smooth up the surface. Pretty good. Smoothing up the double action pull is quite a bit easier. We need to address the trigger nose and bevel located here, along with the bottom of the double action sear located on the hammer. After adding some dicum to the trigger nose, I begin polishing using the medium stone. I'm just lightly polishing the top of this surface using short, smooth strokes. It's important to smooth the radius on the edge of the trigger nose as well. Once the surface is bright and shiny, I add some more dicum and finish by polishing with a fine stone. That looks pretty good. Lastly, we need to address the double action sear. To prevent damage, use a bench block for support when removing it from the hammer. We just want to smooth up the bottom of the sear. Lightly stoning it with the fine India stone is all it takes. It should be smooth and free of scratches. Now we can reassemble the revolver and using the snap caps, measure our results. The single action pull now averages right at three pounds and the double action pull is quite a bit smoother, averaging eight pounds. 